The weirdest thing happened. I, there were three camels walking down the street as I was stuck, like two cars away from the place I was supposed to be, and I, was, I had to like rush onto the stage because we were late. And I was literally saying, like, I'm sorry, I've been sitting out there for ten minutes in traffic. I just wasn't allowed to exit my car. And like, you know, camels started strolling by, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, only in New York. It's funny because when I looked at all of them on the hangers, I was like, I don't know how. And then as soon as I put it on, it was like. You know, it works. I don't fuck, fuck. <laughs> it's really crazy driving around here. Like, Especially streets are loaded, like, with really cool looking people. It's and like, really loaded people, too. <laughs> right, and really loaded people. You were grilling Martha Stewart today, trying to get her some advice from Martha Stewart. She's the best, right? Yeah, yeah, and all she wanted to talk about was Rob. <laughs> like, she literally, she was like, she told me that she had a dream that she hung out with him. I was Wait. like, that's awesome. Wait, she had a dream? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. So Martha Stewart said, you asked her for, like, hey, you got any pie things? Are you just a small size? She goes, I had a dream about Robert Pattinson. <laughs> it actually kind of, I mean, I didn't ask about the pie. She didn't, like, divert. She wasn't like, no pie talk. I mean, like, we, there was a whole segment about the pie. And then um, I figured that that's, you know, what we were going to, I don't know. And she was just like, you know, I'm such a fan. And I had a dream about Robert the other night. I was like, dude, I should hook you guys up. It it was weird that they happened to have been c playing that night because it was the first night that we were here and everyone was like, oh, you have to go see a show and Band of Horses happens to be like my favorite band right now. And they were like, oh, do you want to go see Band of Horses? They're playing in 40 minutes. I was just like, I, I was very excited. <laughs> she was really excited. <laughs> didn't necessarily see girls. They were aggressive and assertive. They weren't, come get me, you know what I mean? So it's like, um, <laughs> don't chase me, don't chase yeah, me. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna like mindlessly follow him wherever he goes. So I think it's important for her at the end to say like, I'm kind of a weirdo. So I really belong here. So stop discrediting my love for you, homie. <laughs> yeah. For this movie, you're just noodles. I noodled. Yeah. I fiddled. Yeah, you I fiddled. Plucked. <laughs> yeah. This is Same Hanky one. Panky. Go. <laughs> I heard that it, you guys, you throw back and forth, you said you have a pretty great arm yourself. Yeah, he keeps like saying I have this like really great spiral and stuff. I'm like, I can throw, like, all right, for, you know. Not that great. Let's yeah. a little, uh, warm up a little bit and then I have an idea. These are what big we... balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, these are like pro. Like... That's exactly right. <laughs> there we go. Let's go, all right. Buster. <laughs> all right, warm up. We're just warming up here, folks. Okay. There we go. Do one more warm up, one more warm up, then I got an idea. All right, this, right. oh, wow, that yeah, was a goodie. Yeah, that was a goodie right there. There was, there was a scene that I had trouble with, which is actually kind of funny because I'm sleeping in the scene. And you would think that it would be the easiest one, especially considering I'm like sandwiched in between the boys and that's like the most exciting thing in the book for everyone. And it, it, it should have like a major sexual tension and I'm supposed to get certain bits of the conversation through like my sleep state which is sort of vague like whether I'm awake I didn't know how much I was like if I heard any of this conversation I would be like bang awake and wanting to be a part of it and then like 
if I had gotten any parts of the conversation the next day, I would totally want to like bring it up to the both of them. And so I told David, I was like, dude, this doesn't make any sense. Trust me, she's just sleeping. And he was like, no, you have to let it filter in. And I was like, makes no sense, but okay. I, I got a tattoo, a Bella tattoo, just to remember. It kind of looks like her. I drew it myself to make it more personal. <laughs> yeah. You should get your money back. <laughs> I know.